Hi again, Nantucket. This is Natalie Simonero, your host for the wellness portion of Nantucket Pulse Programming, made possible by Nantucket Cottage Hospital Community Health Initiative. Nantucket Pulse Program includes two important features that will air weekly. We will, of course, continue to cover the coronavirus impact to our island with Roberto Santa Maria, the town of Nantucket's Director of Health. This series, called Nantucket Pulse Wellness, will highlight some other essential components of our new way of living, taking care of ourselves and each other, and connecting to those who can help us. We will spotlight some of the island's most respected and gifted health professionals, ranging from traditionally based to holistic health care. This week, we have Brandon Jellison of Lavender Farms. He will show us simple movement techniques to help us all stay loose, keeping our bodies from getting stiff and our blood pumping. He will also bring us through a guided meditation. So enjoy. Good morning. I'm Brandon Jellison, the owner of Lavender Farm Wellness, and I'm going to take you through some self-care, some guided movements and meditation to help you enjoy your day. So I'm going to start just by loosening up the body a little bit. And we're going to just start at the top. We're going to keep it really simple. So we're just going to take the crown of the head. We're just going to like vertebrate by vertebrate. We're just going to like roll forward. And it's like, like we're like hanging on this tendon a little bit as we come down. And at the top, let the chin rise up. Oh, feels good. And as you're going through this, just let your breath be natural and full. If you're inspired to take a little bit deeper breath, that can be a great way to kind of help loosen up some of the extra spots from the inside. Mm. And you're just gonna like roll the head one. Yeah, we're just gonna kind of keep it simple. Nothing too fancy. Just really going joint by joint. I'll come down to the hips. I like to imagine that, like I'm inside of a barrel. I'm like scraping the edge of the barrel with my hips. And if there's any air, and then switching directions. If there's areas that have like a little extra stickiness, you can kind of like take a little extra time there. So like three there. We're really just looking to loosen up the body, loosening up the tendons. It's all gonna be just fine. So we're gonna we're just loosening up the body, and then we're gonna just kind of shake it out. Yeah. Two, four. Let the jaw relax. <laughs> so good. So good. Let's go shake it out. Okay. So from here we're going to move in and right guide you through a meditation. 
heat it. I have a cushion here, but that's not, not needed. Uh, you can sit in a chair. Uh, you could use some pillows. The most important aspects of this is that you're able to sit comfortably. And one of the things that can help us sit comfortably is if our hips are like sort of at the same height as our knees uh, or a little bit higher. It just helps some of the muscles, uh, the hip muscles relax. We want to have a nice upright spine. And I'm going to guide you through a meditation here. And why is meditation helpful? Well, the main benefits of meditation are to help develop strength, stability, and clarity of mind. Which I thought would just be really helpful at a time like this, when uh, it might be easy to get nervous uh, or to doubt ourselves. And what we really have here is we to work with is our, the workable factor in this situation is our perspective borrowing from the, the great Stoic traditions. And so I'm going to guide you through a meditation practice where we help to develop stability, strength, stability, and clarity. And what we're going to do is we're going to pay attention to our breath. And by paying attention to our breath, we're, what we're doing is we're choosing to pay attention to something. And we're strengthening our ability to pay attention to what we're choosing. And the ability to choose what we're paying attention to right now is really helpful. It allows us to be of, of greater service to those around us. So we're going to start by finding a nice upright posture. We're going to allow our senses to be open. And what I mean by that is, I mean, if we have a sense of maybe some of our, our breakfast taste still in our mouth, we can just uh, just notice that. If we uh, there's a smell of spring in the air, we can just notice that. everything in our visual field, we just notice that. It's like we see the, f the grains in the floor, but we're not like hyper-focused on them. Like we, s but we're also not spacing out either. It's just sort of like a little bit of a middle way there with the attention. And we can do the same thing with our sense of taste, our sense of sound, sight, touch, each of the senses. And each of these senses is our, our contact with the world around us. Uh, they're how we experience our, this phenomena. What we're going to do is a simple meditation. dial back from noticing those senses and we're going to bring our attention to the sensation of the breathing. This breathing is sort of happening in continuous tense. It's always available to us. And we're just going to hold our attention on that sensation, we might feel our diaphragm expanding, we might feel air passing under our noses a little bit. And we're just going to hold our attention on that feeling. And when 
we get distracted, or suddenly start thinking about something else. Might be thinking about what we're going to cook next. I think we're all doing a lot more cooking. We just bring our attention back to the sensation of the breathing. just abiding. Whenever I notice, whenever we notice that we're distracted, doesn't matter how important the thought. What we're going to do is we're just going to define this next period of time to just hold on to that sensation of the breathing. When you have a thought, you can just recognize that if it's really important, it'll still be there in 15 minutes. And what we're going to notice in this practice of holding our attention to the breath is we're going to notice how distracted we are, how much we want to pay attention to something we saw on social media, and maybe how we're going to respond, or something we saw in the news, and how it affected us. And those, we're just going to like put those on a shelf right now. We're just going to be human. This is like the art of being human, where we breathe and we feel and it's okay. We don't have to be afraid of ourselves. We can abide in ourselves We can trust ourselves. If you find that you have a lot of thoughts happening, you can label them. That's a helpful tool. You can just be like thinking. 
and just sort of calling out the thoughts by labeling them thinking, it really helps a lot. And you can come back to that breath because we're working with the benefit of working with the continuous breathing is that it's always available. It's always available to just restart. label the thoughts thinking and then just come back to the feeling of the breathing One of the most helpful and sort of practical aspects of this type of meditation is that we're paying attention to our breath and that our breath is actually not a part of us. So our breath is, it's the air, it's the air that fills our lungs. And in some way, what we're doing is we're we're suspending our tendency to pay attention to ourselves. And this becomes a bridge where it becomes easier to pay attention to others in a sustained way. thoughts, many times the thoughts have to do with well, the general category of sort of what about me, what am I going to eat, what am I going to say, why did I say that, why did I do that, why did they do this, and that sort of reinforces the notion of me. And if we can just pay attention, by paying attention to the breath, we can shift that paradigm. And it's like the baby step toward, what about you? What about us?
So we're labeling our thoughts, thinking, coming back to the sensation of the breathing. And at this point, I want to just take a giant step. I want you to invite you to, to think about the tension in your body. And when I see, invite you to, to give yourself permission to relax, or just maybe we can identify maybe 10% of that tension as being optional. Do you think, I know I have 10% of the tension in my body right now is, is optional. It's, self-induced. And just let that drop. And what does that feel like? Strike the bell to conclude. I want to thank you for joining me for a morning meditation. And I want to invite others to, to use the hashtag act well to highlight all the different ways that we're taking care of ourselves, the ways that we're leaning into the, our own virtues during this really challenging time. And I want to give uh, a huge shout out to the hospital and uh, to all the emergency and essential workers on the island who are, are really just doing a killer job. Thank you so much. Wow, Brandon, that was absolutely helpful and a great way to either get my day started or a wonderful way to end my day. I thank you for your willingness to help us all out. To watch this episode anytime, please look for it on Nantucket Pulse Wellness Series playlist on nctv18.org. We will continue with our series aimed at keeping everyone connected and maintaining a healthy balance under the guidance of our local health professionals. So that's all for now. I'm Natalie Seminero your host of the wellness portion of Nantucket Pulse. I'll be back next week, and I'll look forward to talking with you. Until then, take good care of yourselves and be kind to each other. Nantucket, we're all going to get through this together.